Hey kids, today we're going to dig into Markdown presentations. So this be has become my favorite way of doing presentations, especially quick ones. Um, so what is the benefit of a Markdown presentation? Well, all the slides are simply Markdown files. That's right. This entire presentation I'm showing you here, all four pages, just one plain text file. They're easily presented through a local and remote terminal. So whether I'm running this locally on my machine or if I'm SSHing into a remote machine, wherever Markdown presentation um, program is and the Markdown files are, I can run this presentation. Quickly install on Ubuntu. That's right, it's in the default repository, which makes it very easy to get to. And of course, most importantly, Markdown files are fun to make and presentations are fun to make. So that's a win-win. There are some limitations. What are some of the limitations of a Markdown presentation? No image support. Uh, that is that I know of because I know some terminals have extra functions. When I try loading in images, it just does not work for me. Um, spacing might be weird on certain windows because, you know, not everyone's doing 80 uh, characters wide. Kind of hit and miss. So how do I install Markdown presentation on Ubuntu? Sudo apt install oh that's a typo it's supposed to be mdp markdown presentation that's m yeah that's not right but if you do it the right way it'll work <laughs> guaranteed um so how do we make a good presentation well i'm going to link this particular presentation probably after i fix some of the typos uh down below so let's take a peek at it real quick i'm gonna open it up in vim and as you can see, other than just these certain identifiers as author, title, I think you can also add date. And these little magical arrows that uh, signify center text. Other than that, it's pretty much a standard markdown file. We have these three little dashes to separate the pages. And, uh, you know, markdown uh, dash space, that makes a bullet point. That's it. I mean, it's pretty simple. Here's code. That's why that one was highlightable. And... Almost every default setting you use in Markdown works, so you can build these documents on your phone, you can build these documents um, in Vim, you can do it in Gedit, Atom, any text editor that you're comfortable using, you can use and build Markdown presentations. So pretty groovy. So let's get out of here, launch it one more time. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, markdown presentation. Yeah, you just turn it left and right and you can skim back and forth it shows you the, the page number pretty groovy pretty featureful for such a small tiny little program all right that's it for now